How's it going everybody? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla with you guys today. As always, hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. And I hope you're ready to get those codes I'm going to drop in the comments after the video premieres. That's right. If you don't know or you're new to my channel, I almost always drop codes to unlock things in Brawlhalla. They could be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle skins, could be community colors, could be taunts, could be... So many things that I get from the creators of Blue Mammoth Games because I'm a partnered creator. They give me stuff to give to you guys. So definitely look in the comments after every video for that. And uh, today we're going to be playing some Strikeout with Random. I'm just going to go random because I'm not really in the mood to play one particular legend, which is pretty much most days in Brawlhalla. I actually, I, I think I'm one of the few people that just like playing all the legends in the game. Because I feel, I, I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like most people that play Brawlhalla, they, they want to pick a main legend or a main character that they just want to be really, really good at that legend. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. And in fact, I would even argue if you're new to the game, that's that's what you should do, really. You should just pick a legend and, you know, get pretty decent with that one legend until you learn all their moves and how to play and all that. And then, you know, go to the next one. And the next one, and the next one, until you pretty much master them all. And then you're me. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have played the game for a long time, though. That 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 is pretty much what I did, though. I I got black colors for every legend in the game, and I learned how to play every legend in the game except for Wu Shang. Apparently, I just got destroyed there. But and by the way, being able to play every legend in the game doesn't mean you you've literally become a pro at every legend. You just you can play every legend comfortably. That's that's basically what I what I go for. You can comfortably win most of the time. Most of the legends. And honestly, getting black colors for uh, every legend is fun. It's like a quest, you know? It takes a long time to do, but that's part of why it's fun. Oh, we almost got it with that gim. I really want to hit him with that that hook, man. That, there it is. Oh yeah. That move has so much power, so much force. That's why I keep throwing it out. If you even hit it once when they're like in orange, they're pretty much dead. Oh man, I was trying to get under him so I could do that. Come on, Nyx. It's only a matter of time before you are sent to the underworld. GG, dude, GG. <laughs> we got him. Random strikeout is also a great thing to do if you're not sure like which legend you want to main just play random strike out because you're going to get to play all the different legends assuming you have all legends unlocked if you're playing for free you only get to play the three weekly legends or whatever i mean you can unlock legends with gold but the best way to get better at the game is to purchase the all legends pack and then play random strike out you will get good you could also just do random free for all Free-for-all is actually a really good way to get better as well, because then you don't have that pressure of the 1v1 scenario, and you could just focus on, you know, learning the moves without so much pressure. Because in free-for-all, you know, everybody's attacking each other, not everybody's focused on you, for the most part. <laughs> and, um, that's how I learned quite a few legends. I, I did free-for-all, and I did random strikeout. And also, I'm still doing random strikeout, because I still love it. Wait, is this the same guy? I think it is. I think it's literally the same guy, but it might just be another Jiro. Hard to tell sometimes. He's going for way too many sight down airs. Seems like that's all he, he wants to do. Yeah, I figured he would do that. Oh, and I was ready with that reversal. 
Gurgach is probably the least played legend in the game. I mean, a skin, I should say. When in doubt, just throw your weapon and it's a good way to approach. If it seems like you're having a really hard time just getting close to the legend. Oh, that was a nice down air by Vector. Way too black. You're not even using black colors. How are you way too black? Man, I haven't played me some great sword in a minute. This is actually pretty fun. Oh, I love that side air. If you hit him on the downswing, it just, it has a lot of power, a lot of force. A lot of people don't even remember that it exists. All right, his ax is already hitting me quite a few times. Oh, all right. The thing with ax though, is if they miss, we should be able to punish. Oh man, I really wanted to use Mako Katars. I was, uh, oh well, I'm much better with Mako Katars than the Great Sword, but. All right. See, he missed, and I will get a punish every time. Shish kebab! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, GG! The down helicopter seals the victory! That dude went insane with the axe, though. You gotta give him props. That was a GG, dude. G no? No GG? Okay, feels bad. Well, he did good with the axe. <laughs> Oh man, let's keep going random strikeout, baby. So far, two random strikeouts, two wins. We get to see all these amazing different legends and crossovers and skins as well. If you're like me and you have a lot of skins, random strikeout is also a fun way to just play with a bunch of uh, legends and skins you don't normally pick, maybe. I actually do love playing Becky Lynch, though. Nash is one of my favorite legends as well. Uh, just because he's an old school legend, old but gold, you know, he's really, he's kind of a simple legend. In fact, if you're a newer player to the game, I would recommend playing Nash. Uh, he has slower attacks, but they're strong and easy to do, and you can still do really, really well. In fact, the first time I ever got to Diamond, ever, I used Nash to do it. Of course, the game was a lot different back then. A lot different, but still. Oh, that side sig. It's so good. In fact, all of my sigs are good. Watch this one. Oh, I knew I'd hit with that. The down sig on the hammer is by far Nash's best sig. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. But I play this game a lot. And I could tell you, this SIG, the down SIG, gets me more kills against... It doesn't matter if they're pro or noob. The down SIG, look at it just... People don't understand the range and the power. And it even works well off stage. I could probably get to Diamond just spamming that move. But I'm not going to do that because that would be rude, right? Look at her side sig compared to my down sig. Like mine just goes farther and it pushes them down, not not just sideways. Oh, I almost got back. That would have been epic. 
Unfortunately, no three stock. Now we're going against Taros. Oh, I thought he would do a side sig for sure. Get back on this stage. Is this the same guy I keep fighting? I'm actually not paying attention. I really should. He could have punished my, my, my down sig there. Oh, you're not safe on the wall. <laughs> Slide off down, sig, turn around. One of the best uh, moves on Lord Vrax. GG, dude, GG. All right, keeping it going with the random. I'll do one or two more games. I know you guys are probably eager to get those codes in the comments after the premiere, and I will drop those codes. All right, apparently I'm all black colors too, which is just coincidence, because we went random. We got two Scythe Legends and Reno. All right, Mordex, Jiro, Reno. These are three... Uh, my favorite legend. I know I say like every legend is my favorite and for the most part they all are, but I really do like playing these legends. All right, we're going against a Po, which is uh, Wushong. Bro, are you even gonna pick up the weapon? All right, he's not gonna pick up the weapon. We're just gonna We're just gonna engage. All right, maybe now What are you doing dude? I'm so confused What is he? Okay. This is really sad. Oh. Okay. You know what? I feel bad. Because we didn't get to even really play with those legends. And it would have been epic. He didn't even want to fight with us. Okay, whatever. Alright, here we go. Hopefully this guy won't rage quit like the last guy. I, f I feel like the last guy just didn't even want to play. Like, he, he, he thought that he had zero chance to win. Which is never true. I mean, you always have a chance. And he didn't even want to fight. Dude, I'm letting you get a weapon, but if you don't want it, it's fine. I respect it. Oh man, those those orbs I will abuse because they are part of playing Yumiko. That was a pretty clean play with the bow and the orbs. Oh, Jiro, where are you going? Absolutely destroyed. Okay, GG dude, GG. That was Yumiko. I would I would say your name, but he's nameless. He's in a clan, Rack Pro, but no name. At least he didn't rage quit. Oh, look at this sword with the Jala skin. That looks so cool. And am I am I seeing things, or are we using esports colors here? I think we are using esports colors here. All right, here we go, here we go. Going against a Nyx, a Thatch, and a Baraza. I didn't even, I didn't even look at my legends because I don't even know if we're gonna get past uh, Jala here. Let's see. <laughs> Every time I do neutral light, he jumps, I do neutral sig. Zero to death. Absolutely crushed. That was a perfect read. Zero to death. Bro, he's popping off with these blasters. Oh, 
Oh, he thinks he got it. I almost skimmed him. Oh, this is getting... This is getting really spicy. Oh, oh, oh. Hold that, hold that. This thatch has such low defense, yet he won't die. Not like this, Thatch! Oh my goodness, he finally died. What a warrior. I respect it. I am so close to death myself. Jala doesn't have a lot of defense, to be honest, but Baraza does. Oh my goodness, what a side air. <laughs> that killed me so fast. I must have been in such high of damage that one touch would kill me. Uh, it's been fun. Oh my! There it is. <laughs> GG, dude, GG. Well played. It took a little bit longer than the last few, but we still got the win in the end. <laughs> That's all that matters. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I know you've been waiting for those codes, and I will be dropping those codes in the comments right after this premiere. Before you do anything, please drop a like on this video if you enjoy. And please subscribe for more Brahala content, because I'm always putting it out there. As always, can't wait for the next video. See you guys there. This is Zushin Sword. Take it easy, friends.